$1,886 per month for SSI with one major change, Supplemental Security Income. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get right into it. I know in this video, we're specifically focusing on SSI, Supplemental Security Income, and the roughly 8 million beneficiaries who do rely on this program and these monthly checks. Now, I do want to talk about one major change that would significantly boost benefits for a lot of SSI beneficiaries up to $1,886 per month. And this would be life-changing for a lot of people as this would translate into a lot more money in your pocket and your bank account literally every single month from SSI. Let's get into it and talk about all the details. Really fast before we do, thanks for joining me. If you have not done so yet, please make sure to do yourself a huge, huge favor. Hit that subscribe button right down below the video. It is totally free to do so. I'm here for you right by your side every single day, keeping you updated with what's actually going on, watching all the headlines and the details, being your daily advocate, doing whatever I possibly can to make sure you're getting as much money, benefits, programs, checks, raises to benefits, anything else like that you can possibly take advantage of or anything popping up right now that may impact your money. Of course, I want to bring it to your attention immediately right away so you can see what's going on. And of course, anything out there that they're talking about as far as changes to any programs like this as well. There's a lot of stuff going on. It is a very busy time right now. And again, I will continue to be here for you right by your side every single day as your one and only daily advocate, as I have been for about four years now, and I'm not going anywhere. So again, I'm here for you in any way that I can be. Please subscribe down below, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and let's get into it and talk about one major change to this program. It would be super, super easy for them to do. And this would translate into $1,886 per month for SSI beneficiaries, for a lot of beneficiaries anyway, okay? All right, so let's talk about what's going on here. And again, what are all these details and how can we sign up for something like this, okay? All right, now here's what it comes down to. We all recognize SSI has not been reformed in a very long time. When I say a very long time, I'm talking decades. The last time that SSI was reformed in any major way was in 1989. What is that? 34 years ago? Yeah, I think it's, wait, is that more than that? 35 years ago? Yeah, 35, I think that's 35 years ago, right? It's a long time ago, right? That is a very, very long time ago, and SSI needs some major fixes, okay? There's a lot of things about this program that we could pick apart and say, it is out of date, it is not keeping up, benefits are too low, who is supposed to live on $943 a month right now? Yeah, not happening, right? It's not a good situation. Well, let me ask you this much, and again, I know this is a question that a lot of people here in this community are wondering because I see the questions, the concerns, all the things like this down below in the comment section. Remember, one of the rules of SSI, the marriage penalty. Yeah, remember that one? Of course you do. That's a really bad provision of the SSI program. But get this, remember right now, the maximum benefit you can get for 2024 as an individual is $943. However, the marriage penalty prevents a married couple from getting 943 multiplied by two, which would be 1,080. Uh, sorry, $1,886 a month would be 943 maximum by two people multiplied by two. There is that 1886 a month. However, because of the marriage penalty, SSI beneficiaries are not allowed to get that much because the marriage penalty comes into play and reduces benefits by 25%. Therefore, the maximum for a married couple is $1,415 a month in 2024. Okay. Okay. So what does this actually mean? It simply means that if the uh, if lawmakers came forward and they actually removed the, the marriage penalty, which they've talked about, there is standalone uh, legislation out there and there is pieces of uh, legislation that have a bunch of other provisions as well, which would actually remove the marriage penalty. But here's what I want to bring to your attention. One simple change to this program, as in removing the marriage penalty, it would take like one paragraph of legislation. I could literally write it for them and send it over and say, hey, vote on this and sign it. It's not that hard to do. It'd be super easy to do, but it would reform SSI and all it would do is remove the, uh, the marriage penalty for SSI beneficiaries so that somebody, a couple who maybe uh, is engaged right now or together that may want to get married, but yet they're saying, why would we get married? We're going to get a penalty of $471 a month to our monthly benefits, provided they're getting the maximum, uh, just by getting married. Why would anybody do that? They wouldn't, which is why a lot of people are foregoing marriage uh, as SSI beneficiaries because they don't want to get stiffed another $471 a month 
because they got married. Doesn't make any sense, right? Well, as a result of that, think of this. So as of right now, like I said, the marriage uh, penalty is reducing benefits by $471 a month or 25% because of being married as an SSI couple. However, removing the marriage penalty, this one simple thing, it'd also be a major change to the SSI program, but benefits would now be able to be doubled for a couple who is both receiving SSI and eligible for the maximum. So get this, let's just say that we have two people, okay? They're both receiving SSI as individuals, a maximum of $943. Now they remove the marriage penalty. Now these two people get married. Now their benefits have gone from 943 individually, doubled because they're getting married and uh, there's no marriage penalty anymore. If they were to remove this, now the benefits are $1,886 a month because it's 943 per individual, doubled is $1,886 per month, okay? But because the marriage penalty is in play right now, get this, this uh, $1,886 monthly benefit that is supposed to be going out to these people who are married, receiving SSI, rather than getting 1886 a month, they're now getting 1415, $1,415 a month because the marriage penalty reduces the benefit by 25% or in this case, that translates into $471 a month or about $5,500 a year. That's craziness right there, right? That's a lot of money to be literally flushing down the drain and it's not even going anywhere other than nobody's getting it. They're just keeping it in the program, right? The, the beneficiaries are not getting it. So that is a messed up thing right there, but this is still in play. And I do get questions on the marriage penalty on a pretty regular basis from those of you here in the community, reaching out, asking, have they removed it yet? Are they going to be removing it? What's the effects of the marriage penalty? Well, you can see right there, a lot of money. The marriage penalty is a reduction of 25%, $471 in this case. I'm not sure about you, but for me, $471 a month is a lot, okay? I'd be very, very, very happy with an extra $471 a month, okay? But if I got reduced by $471, I would not be happy. And that's the case for a lot of people right now who are foregoing marriage or learning this the hard way. There they get married and then they're realizing, oh no, that was bad. Our benefits just got cut majorly because we got married as SSI beneficiaries. Not a good situation, right? So anyway, one of the things that they wanna do is remove the marriage penalty, but have they done it yet? The answer is no, they have not removed the marriage penalty yet. It is still in play, but there's legislation out there right now to do exactly that. Will they do it? I can't promise anything. I have no clue what they're going to do. All I can do is continue watching everything and I can give you my best estimates based on what I'm watching and all the latest updates as far as what's being introduced, what they're talking about, what they're voting on, what they're passing and things like that. So again, I wanna bring this to your attention really quickly so we can see the magnitude of the marriage penalty and what it really does to SSI beneficiaries. It's not good, right? That's detrimental. That's not good for a lot of people. And who couldn't use an extra 471 these days when all they're doing is just siphoning cash out of our, uh, out of our pockets and our bank accounts with all this inflation? Do you think that's on purpose? Maybe, <laughs> right? We can talk about that in a separate video, but it seems a little intentional if you ask me based on what's going on. Anyway, hope this helps you again. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Totally free to do so. I'm here for you every single day. I know, right? Who doesn't want a little bit more of me every single day? <laughs> I don't even think my wife wants me that much, right? But anyway, I hope you're having a nice day so far. I'm here for you and as much as I possibly can be. Please subscribe, share the video with your friends, family, social media. Also go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. And down below in the description of this video, I have a bunch of videos linked down there as well. You may wanna check those out. Those are great videos as well. Otherwise, enjoy your day. Leave your comments, questions, feedback down below. Until next time, have a good one. Take care and catch you again later in the next